On today's show, we make another peach dish with Oklahoma Natural Gas and Iron Star Barbecue is here and they brought a plate of pork for us. Oh, can't wait. Plus, we have music from Rodeo Opry. This is Oklahoma Live. From our studios in Oklahoma City, this is KSBI's Telly Award winning Oklahoma Live. Here are your hosts, Abby Broyles and Drew Schroeder. Oklahoma Live starts now. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Oklahoma Live. Tell you what, there's a lot of cooking going on today. I cannot wait. Another yeah. great peach dish and Iron Star Barbecue, my Iron favorite Star. barbecue you place. You love Iron Star. I, I hear you talk about it a lot. I, they make the best pulled pork in town, and yeah. I always say that is the meat of the gods, which the meat I of the know. Gods. We're more of a beef kind of place here, but I grew up yeah. on pork, and I just, yeah, I love pulled pork Is barbecue. Is that a Chicago thing? It's more of like a Memphis kind of thing, oh. you know, that kind of you're, area. You're, not, you're from Chicago, hey, though. I'm, I'm like a gypsy. I've been traveling around this country for many years. You're a so. gypsy. <laughs> but I've been here for 11, so I'm basically yeah. a co common law Opie, I like to say. Well, there you go. Well, in Oklahoma, we love our country music, and uh, last night, the CMT Awards. Yeah, did you watch it? I heard it was really good. I just watched a little part of it. I yeah. didn't see much, but um, our girls had a good night. Carrie yes. Underwood and Miranda Lambert. Carrie won video of the year for her video, See You Again. Uh, Miranda won the female video of the year for Automatic, and then Blake won male video of the year for doing what she likes. It's it's one of those things. Do you even have to go to the award show anymore? Because you pretty much know. know who's going to win. You know who's yeah. going to be there performing. In fact, this is the third straight year Carrie Underwood won the video of the year, her yeah. fifth overall, and she holds the record. She has 11 belt buckles, which is what they give you as an award yeah, for the CMT awesome. awards. We're so. looking at some pictures of them and see Carrie and Miranda together. They're besties now. You know they are always together. How I don't know. I'm kind of surprised because you think there'd be some sort of rivalry going on, yeah. there, but not so much. No, no, because um, she's like me. She's a common law Okie now, mm -hmm. and so everybody's just you know one big happy family here. Yeah. It's like Shelton and everybody else. So yeah. that's very cool. I mean, how great is it? We we literally have the best country music stars really from right yeah. here in our state. Yeah, absolutely. guys and girls. I know. I was really glad that, uh, Blake got it. I know. Me too. too. So that was really exciting yeah. there. And you know, there are so many country music award shows. Have you noticed that? Yes. It's it's constant. I, I, I don't know which one I didn't is which. I watched last night because I was like, I mean, I watched for a few minutes, but I'm like, CMTs, huh? I forgot that was going on. Yeah, what well, didn't we just have one in Vegas like a month ago? What yeah. was that one? The Academy of Country Music Awards, I think. I can't keep track. I don't know. But I, don't know. I want an Academy of Talk Shows. Yeah. And then we could go to an award show. I think Blake and Miranda have to buy, build a new house like, or get a new house like they're doing in Nashville just for their awards. Yeah, I know. Because right? they're running out of mantle space. I they're mean, they're running out of mantle space. I just want one. <laughs> just one. I just want one, like some sort, like an Emmy, a, a yeah. something. Maybe not even an Emmy. Maybe they can make an award up or something. You I can just ask want that. Um, maybe the maybe they'll give you one of those lower Would they country let me music one? awards. Yeah. yeah, I don't well, know what they. One are. of the lower ones. <laughs> Isn't that sad? You have so many awards. Let me see if I have a lower one. <laughs> like which is the big one? I don't know which is the one that you want to win know. in country music. Maybe you know? I mean, isn't a Grammy still the biggest? Well, Grammy for everybody, I guess, is probably the yeah. biggest. But yeah, I, it's true. But you know what? They get great ratings. People love watching them. Country music is probably top right now in the country in terms of music that people like. So yeah. might as well get the best of it. There you go. Well, speaking of country music, this is pretty. Cool. Some yeah. country musicians, some others, they got together here in Oklahoma. Over 50 musicians came together in March in Tulsa mm -hmm. to do a song, and it's for the Red Dirt Relief Fund, yeah. which is pretty pretty cool relief fund. It's actually four musicians who either have medical emergencies or natural disaster emergencies, and yeah. so they did a video. They've got a song. They just released it. They did the big release party. You can buy it on iTunes, and it'll all help that fund. But some of the people in this one: Jason Boland, Red Dirt Rangers, Parker Millsap. Cody Canada. Hmm. So the song is called Stand, Let Your Voice Be Heard. And here's a little bit of the video. Take a look. Cool. Hey, that is cool. I 
go fiddle player there and some other musicians and stuff. That's really neat that they were able to get that many Oklahoma musicians together to sing. Yeah, and they said with the all the yeah. techs and audio people, over 80 people were there together, wow. bringing that all together for that song. That's awesome. You know, yeah, it's like our we around the world. I can't remember what the name of that Michael Jackson song was way back in the day. Remember Quincy no. Jones? Did it. We are the world. We are the alive? children. We are the ones who make a bright. Wow. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm old, and excuse me, I cough. <laughs> I can't. Okay, because I just want to point out that I can barely hear you right now because my ears are so stuffed up. I know you poor I'm thing. I'm like coughing. People at home are like, "Man, she is so disgusting. Go home." No, no, I will not go home. I will come and do this show every day. You just have allergies, like half of the other people here in Oklahoma it's right bad. now. I'm trying to get under control. I promise. <laughs> well, so, once again, if you me. want to get that, you want to download that and help out the Red Dirt Relief Fund. It's yeah. on iTunes today. Okay, we are on a music block. Like yeah. this whole first few minutes of the show, it's really. Really exciting though because I'm excited about this concert coming in the end of June. It's OKC Fest. Tons of big names, and we just found out it's gotten a little more local. Uh, Wanda Jackson is going to be taking the stage, as well as John Moreland and Graham Colton. Yeah, how awesome is that? So they've added, they've got a couple stages. Of course, yeah. the big stage will have Dirks Bentley, Merle Haggard, Lady Antebellum, Scott McCready, uh, McCreary. McCreary. Drew Sorry. doesn't like country music. I have to help him out. <laughs> Some of it I like. Yeah. Some of the old school stuff. Some of the old yeah, school stuff. Yeah, I know. Stuff. So you really do have to sometimes yeah. knock me down. Uh, uh, and Wanda Jackson. And also, like you said, uh, and one of my favorites, the Byron Berline band, which we've had here, yeah. are going to be taking one of those side stages. So. Yeah, Byron Berline. Oh, he's so good. I uh, remember I interviewed him a few months ago, yeah. and he's just like the coolest guy. He's just going to have a big jam session the whole time he's there. That's this, how he plays. It's going to be awesome. June 27th through the 29th, the stage will be there at the Myriad yeah. Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City. And if you want your tickets, you can go to OKCFest.com and buy them. But yeah. yeah, this is going to be absolutely huge and, and a big deal for Oklahoma City to have all these big bands yeah. outdoors right there in the heart of our city. Like 30,000 people a night are supposed to be there. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Are you going to be there? I probably go? will be there. I know. I need, to, I need to get my tickets. Yeah. Will you be there? So you'll be there too? Yeah, for we'll be sure. I'll it be up. out there sneezing and coughing <laughs> and all that. Yeah, for sure. And if sure. I don't recognize who the country musician is, you yeah. can tell me, okay? okay. Drew, I'll hold a sign up. <laughs> Scotty McCreary. Yeah. yeah. That's Lady Antebellum right there. That's Lady Antebellum. <laughs> I would hope you know who Lady Antebellum is. I know is. the big ones, yes. Yeah. Sometimes they just get names wrong. Dirk Bentley will be up trouble. there. He'll be like, "Hey, it's Toby Keith." <laughs> well, this is the one story that is not, this is Toby Sorry. Keith. This is the one story that is not really having to do with music, but um, yeah. this is Cabela's, and there has been talk that Cabela's is going to be coming to right? Western and Memorial as part of the redo there. And guess what? They are right. Cabela's officially announced they will be coming. If you've never been inside of Cabela's, here's a look at one of the other ones. Uh, it's very much like Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, it's kind My of country. Western hunting, fishing type place? Everything you could possibly imagine. They are humongous. The store huh. will be 80,000 square feet. Jeez. And you can see this new development that's going in right there at huh. Western and Memorial. It's called Chisholm Creek. And just look, they plan on doing all kinds of stuff apartments. There'll be St. Anthony's House Hospital Complex. Yeah. Uh, they're really taking over that entire that's where area. That's where that uh, Top Golf is going to go, too. Yes, yes. Yeah, that'll be Which fun. I believe they're already building. I think that's what's going yeah. in there right now. Oh, that's so awesome. Everybody's really excited. Uh, Cabela's. Uh, I know it's going to bring a lot of people. My dad loves Cabela's. Oh, really? I bet he does. It's one of his favorite. He's a big fisherman. So. I've never been to Cabela's. They're absolutely beautiful. They're very much like Bass Pro Shop. So yeah. if people don't want to go and deal with going downtown in a brick town, uh, then they can go to Cabela's. The only people that are not happy about it are the people that live around there. I because know. Because traffic I mean, is already traffic rough. Traffic is already bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're on Memorial and you're near Penn, Western, I mean, you're sitting there, and I mean, you might sit go, to go through one stoplight three times. Yeah. You see three green lights before you get to go. Yeah, and now it's taking it's over Western and Memorial, too. So yeah. that is going to be a little bit rough for the people who do live around there. They've I know, already right? said that. That's, that's literally one of the reasons why um, we're not building a house in Edmond. Is it because, really? Yeah, it's like there's just so much stuff around. Uh, Penn and Western. I mean, you just get stuck there. You do. Oh, it's yeah. rough. Yeah, especially at Christmas time. Oh my gosh, oh. it's so bad. I'm trying to get to that Super Target. I remember, like, I parked my little Nissan Altima like up on the grass at yeah. Super Target <laughs> at Penn Memorial around oh. Christmas time. Oh, they don't mess around. So yeah. I, hopefully they'll do a little something with the actual traffic and maybe Who widen knows? the roads maybe, a little yeah, bit. Maybe widen. That is Memorial. exciting, though. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people when they come to town are going to want to go to Cabela's and go All do right. some shopping. Maybe maybe I'll take up fishing and you can teach me how, which. Fish Pulled I cannot, but my dad will oh, tell okay. you. That's why I just you give him fish? a gift card. No, my dad will give me a list of stuff, and it takes me an hour to find oh, it gosh. at Bath Pro Shop. So 
see. Now I just give him a gift card. He can shop for himself. That's so heartfelt. <laughs> you remember those ladies who, who are the sunburst gifts with like the thoughtful twist? Yeah. You need to think of something thoughtful to do. Well, it's either that or I go and buy him a roll of 50 pound test line, fishing line, and wrap it. So oh, that's, that's okay. not really, that's what he wants. All He's right. like, give me some fishing line. Gift card it is. And it's 25 <laughs> bucks anyway, so I'd rather just give him the card. Yeah. He can shop there you for go. it. <laughs> I never get a gift card from you. In fact, I don't think you remembered my birthday last year. What? Moving on. Oh, Moving my on. goodness. I'll remember it this year, I promise. Uh -huh. When you is better. it again? <laughs> November 2nd. November 2nd. November 2nd. Oh, so right. you've got something big that you're getting ready to MC, aren't oh, yeah. you? Yes. Um, in just a little while, I'm going to be emceeing the uh, Western Chop on the lawn yeah. out there at Whole Foods. <laughs> it's really fun. I'm going to be like outside with this stuff going on. Yeah. But that's all right. Um, it's a great event. It's a kind of a, it's a like the show Chopped. And it's going to be between the chef from Kevin Durant's restaurant and then a chef from Good Egg Dining Group. And they're going to face off. That is going to be and so gonna much fun. And they're going to outside of Whole Foods. There's going to be um, games for the kids, all kinds of stuff. It's from 5 to 8. Coop is going to have a beer tent out yeah. there. Um, they're going to have pop-up patios with like flips and several other restaurants around the western area. It's a part of like Western does these um, really fun events throughout the summer and so this one is at Whole Foods. And you're going to be hosting it so you'll yeah. be the MC. Yes. I'll be sounding all stopped. I'm like paranoid. I've been like, I have to get better before this event. But um, anyway, it'll be tonight so if you uh, don't have any plans, come on out to uh, Whole Foods at 63rd and Western and I will be there probably with like a, my box of tissues and handling yeah. the event. So yeah, that's great. gonna be great. And you know, Iron Star is a part of the Good Egg Dining yes, Group. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we're and they're gonna happy. be here to, and they're here today. Yeah, so excited with pork. Yeah, Drew is so excited. <laughs> he is like salivating over the pork. They're coming up here next, so we'll be in the kitchen cooking with Iron Star and Barbecue. Keep it right here. We all want to be in touch, to stay connected to be connected. AT&T Uber's high-speed internet makes getting connected fast and easy with reliable service and the speed you need. Call and switch to AT&T now to get the fastest internet for the price, just $14.95 a month, a guaranteed price for 12 months. On our newly expanded advanced digital network, you'll enjoy more connectivity, more reliability, and more speed options. The Wi-Fi gateway turns your home into a private Wi-Fi hotspot. You can connect all your Wi-Fi enabled devices at home and save on your mobile data usage. So why wait? Call AT&T now and switch to Uverse high speed internet for just $14.95 a month and ask about next day installation. Plus access our entire national Wi-Fi hotspot network at no extra charge. You can count on AT&T to keep you connected to your world. Millions of Americans start their day with coffee, but only a few have discovered the coffee that helps you lose weight. It's called Maximum Slim, and it gives amazing results. You may have heard about the great benefits of green coffee in the media and on daytime TV. The green coffee bean has received lots of media attention due to studies that have shown men and women like you losing weight fast. The secret to Maximum Slim is that it contains ingredients that help control your appetite, support your metabolism, and provide healthy energy for your day. For a limited time, we'll send you Maximum Slim free. Yeah, that's right, absolutely free. With no obligation to buy, just pay shipping. Call now and we'll also send you a bottle of Garcina Cambogia and Fat and Carb Blocker. This powerful combination supercharges your weight loss and blocks carbs and sugar, so your body doesn't store it as fat. You get all three products, a $130 value, absolutely free, when you call today. Weekdays, Wendy's Hot Topics are full of less. We take our hot topics serious here. Full of drama. I'll tell it one more time for you, and I'll make it good. And the hottest celebrity news. Grab your tea, we've got a lot to talk about. Weekdays at 5 on My KSBI. There are a lot of choices when it comes to entertainment news, but we do it differently. It's in our name. Tonight at 6 on KSBI 52.
Welcome back. Well, they've got the pulled pork sandwiches and the fancy mac and cheese, and it all is absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, sounds so good. We are here with Kimberly King. She's the GM of Iron Star Urban Barbecue. Close to my house Hello. down there. I love it. It's in driving distance and it is one of our favorite places. Oh, it we is. We love it. Oh, well, good. I'm so glad to hear that. So, we're making one of your staples today, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, this pulled pork, you know, everyone everyone already knows all about it. Yeah. Um, it's wonderful. We smoke everything in house. Um, Tomas is doing a little bit of that fancy. Mac and cheese too over there. Mm -hmm. um, amazing is pretty much the word that goes along with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, everyone is really really familiar with all of this uh, barbecue. And if you if you're not, you know, we're really really close to her house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can yeah. stop by right, afterwards, yeah. go and hang out, you and know bring where she lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, when did you guys start Iron Star and Barbecue? It's kind of a little different because you go in the barbecue is amazing, but it white is. tablecloths. It is. Yeah, we wanted to do something a little different. That's the the urban barbecue aspect of it. Um, yeah. Back in October of 2002 is when we opened our doors. Um, you know, Heather and Keith Paul got together and. Uh, came up with this wonderful concept of doing something a little bit different than what anyone had seen in Oklahoma. Um, and we've been doing really, really well because of it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Got to put our own little spin on things. Yeah, so, absolutely. Definitely. So what is the, uh, what makes the fancy mac and cheese fancy? Well, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's the cheese. It's okay. the cheese because it's not your your everyday you know cheddar cheese. It's made with a mix of gru Gruyere and Jack cheese. Oh wow. Um, wow! And it also has a little bit of heavy cream. You know, you yeah. add a little bit of heavy cream and good cheese to anything. Yeah. Um, and it's almost like an Alfredo. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So it's almost like a an, an entree pasta dish. You know, and it's just. So addictive. So, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I've got to ask, I mean, you guys have amazing pulled pork, and mm -hmm. I've, I'm just like, that's my favorite kind of barbecue. A lot of places you go around town, they focus on the beef, and then the pulled oh, pork yeah. they may have, but I don't know where they got it from. So what yeah. made you guys decide to focus and do one of the best pulled porks in town? Well, you know, I have to tell you that, um, you know, we focus on all of our smoked meats. As a whole, so we won't focus on just one meat. We want to do it all great. Yeah. Um, so you know, you're gonna try the ribs, you're gonna try the brisket, and you're gonna try the chicken, and it's all gonna be wonderful because we put equal focus on all of those things. Wait, we're trying them today? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you have to come see me and say the password, Sorry, so and I'll bring all of it out. Much. Yeah. No. Yeah. Tomas yeah, started getting kind of panicked when I said that. Uh, he's, like, funny. he's like, I didn't bring all that. All right. Awesome. But no. So we're cooking up the uh, the mac and cheese, and we've mm -hmm. just added all that cheese in there. Oh yeah. You gotta have lots and lots of cheese. Get it nice and gooey. No, yeah. what kind of noodles are those? Those rigatoni noodles or ziti what? noodles? Ziti, okay. Those are ziti noodles, yeah. And we've ziti talked noodles. about all that, but sides. You guys are famous mm -hmm. for your sides too. Oh, what yeah. are some yeah. of the other favorites oh, there? Yeah. Well, the whole fried okra, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit unique. It's not the the chopped up okra that everyone's used to seeing. It's got those big whole pieces of mm -hmm. a battered okra. Wonderful. We've got the Dutch oven sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. which is some of my favorite. You know, a lot of people are kind of weird about sweet potatoes. They're really picky about them. Yeah. yeah. These are wonderful. Wonderful. Some more of that heavy cream and cheese. Yeah. Yeah, in there. there you go. It's like scallop potatoes. Really, really good side. Yeah. Really, really good side. Fantastic. So. You guys have some great specials too. I was there a few times this summer. I had mm -hmm. some great fresh salads and stuff too. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And we're always trying to be inventive and, and do something a little different. You know, we've got a, a grilled salmon salad um, that is just amazing with a spicy uh, spicy buttermilk dressing. Ooh, wow. um, yeah. That's, you know, there's things like that, you know, homemade spicy buttermilk dressing. Yeah. Things you're not going to find at other places. That's what makes us unique. And I think that's why we have a. Uh, so many repeat visitors. Things you like do, that. Yeah, yeah, no doubt and it's about all, it. It's all neighborhood <laughs> folks. <laughs> yes, that's right. You know? And I know you've yeah. redone your kitchen here just in the last oh, week yeah. or so. Yeah, absolutely. And Tomas is really, really excited about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, that's been a long time coming. Yeah. He's got a brand new shiny floor back there. All right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So and you guys are uh, great for uh, groups and stuff too, right? Private oh, events? Yeah. Absolutely, okay. yes. I actually plan all the private events at Iron Star. Um, and we do lots of rehearsal dinners, you know? Yeah. Um, and uh, lots of wedding receptions and large company events, things like that. We actually have uh, two separate private dining rooms that we rent out for events. Awesome. So, yeah, we do all kinds of stuff. We've got deliveries and bulk orders and all kinds of large party um, accommodations that we have now. Now, okay, so we've got the pork on there, and here you'll notice this is my favorite part. <laughs> my favorite part. Pulled pork should have coleslaw Absolutely. on the sandwich. It's very Absolutely. Memphis style, I guess. And Mm -hmm. A lot of places you have to actually just get an extra side to oh, get the yeah. coleslaw. Oh yeah, not guys, an iron star. No, you guys nope. put it on there. Yeah, okay, it's just so for our southwest slaw. Loading up the pulled pork. Oh, 
No, I'm like just mesmerized by you making this for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's already ready to eat. Somebody give him so some, funny. some utensils. Uh, and and then what kind of barbecue sauce are we going with today? This is Iron Star's barbecue sauce. We actually make our sauce in house. Oh, wow. So it's homemade. Like that. Uh, again, I, you know, come in, password, recipe. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you won't, be, you won't be hearing that on the air. But uh, yeah, definitely, that's our Iron Star's own barbecue sauce. It's a little tangy. It's definitely got some heat to it. Oh, it's um, got a little heat to it, it does, too. It okay. does have a little heat to it. All right. Right. Fire on there. Well, I don't know um, how on earth we're going to eat this, pork. Abby, but... Oh, I know. I know how you're going to eat it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you want to throw that on there? Because we'll just eat it out of the pan. I mean, really. Oh, go ahead. You might as well. Yeah. That looks a little warm. Good. Yeah, it looks wonderful. Looks awesome. Now, what's in your coleslaw? It's a jicama slaw. So oh, okay. it's going to have some carrots. It's got radicchio in there, some onions, a little bit of jalapeno, not too much. Yeah. Um, but it's in a, a mayo base. So that's a different, you know, kind of side also. Yeah. Um, being it's not just a regular uh, slaw. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. All right. Yeah, I've look how try great this mac that and looks. Cheese. Abby, let's try some mac and cheese first. All right. Dig we may in have to enjoy. eat that big sandwich during the break. I don't know if we looks can pull that messy. off. <laughs> Fantastic. For your pretty white dress. <laughs> I will not be responsible. Oh, for that. wow. Mm. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Will you come home with me? Come <laughs> us and just cook for me every day, please? I'll pay you double what they pay. <laughs> we all know that's not true. No, it's not true. <laughs> I was going to say, in that case, you have a chef. <laughs> yeah, don't fall for it. You have a chef at home. Well, awesome. thank you guys so much. And once again, thank tell you everybody where it. Iron Star is if they want to go check it out. It's right on the corner of Northwest 36th and Chartel, um, right across from the Gazette building. But please, yes, come and see us. We're near the Paseo area. We'd love to see you. All right, sounds mm -hmm. great. We're going to eat some of this barbecue during the break. I know yeah, that. Definitely. All right. You all enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. We're going to have more music ahead, including performances from KSPI's Radio Opry. It's next. KSBI is getting a new antenna. Viewers with older TVs who use converter boxes to receive HDTV signals must rescan the converter box to add additional TV stations. After you rescan the converter box, you may be required to manually enter channel 23.1 and 23.2 into your converter box, which should automatically redirect the box and your TV to channel 52.1 and 52.2. For additional help, go to re-scanokc.com. Well, I'm here to tell you that Jude and Jody Furniture is still at the corner of 29th and South Walker in Oklahoma City with the best furniture prices in the state of Oklahoma. Thank you. Now, it's your chance to try the hottest selling hair removal product in the world. It's No No from Radiancy, the long lasting hair removal breakthrough that gives you no hair with no pain. I don't have to worry about my mustache coming through or my sideburn, and that's all because of No No. No No continues to receive rave reviews. Plus, it's become a worldwide sensation with over 2 million customers in 50 countries. I don't see it coming back for weeks, and with shaving, I will see it the next morning. Call now, and we'll rush you everything you need to get rid of your unwanted hair. And get this, you can try No-No risk-free for not 30 days, but 60 days with a triple guarantee. See for yourself how No-No delivers long-lasting results. If you're not 100% satisfied, return it, and we'll refund the purchase price, refund the shipping, and even pay the return postage. Call 1-800-243-9546 or visit TrynoNo.tv now. Welcome back. It's time for a selection from KSBI's Rodeo Opry, which airs every Sunday night at 8 o'clock here. And here's O Fidelis. And all my pride And I've dreamed a lonesome dream Of being king someday And I've tried to shake my fist My foolish fist in them two ways
Job. That sounded awesome. Yeah, oh, Fidelis on uh, Rodeo Opry. Well, coming up here next, our funny video, funny video of the day. Yes. One of the best, all time greatest senior pranks that I've ever seen. We'll show it next on Oklahoma Live. If you have a cell phone, and who doesn't, and you call or text like I do, that's your business, right? But if you text and talk on the phone while driving, that could be my dad's business. If you have a cell phone, and who doesn't, and you call or text like I do, that's your business, right? But if you text and talk on the phone while driving, that could be my dad's business. Attention men who have taken Androgel and other testosterone therapy products. Androgel and other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, death, and other serious cardiac events. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered heart attack, stroke, blood clotting, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, Call Parliament Law Firm at 1-800-596-9657 for a free legal consultation. We get it. Your time equals money. And if you can't get to work, you can't get paid. Why would you want to stay all day at a dealership? We hear you loud and clear, Oklahoma. Now you can shop from work or home. Just visit us at thekeyonline.com and complete our easy online application. It usually takes about 15 minutes. 
Once you're approved, you can select your vehicle from our online inventory and we'll have it waiting for you. And don't worry about bad credit financing. We do that too. The key. Cars. Loans. Life. Are you paying too much for hospital and medical bills? Are you without health insurance, dental, or prescription coverage? Then you need to know about Qualified Health. A nationwide non-insurance medical discount plan that can save you hundreds of dollars on doctor visits, surgery, hospital stays, dental, vision, lab work, and prescription. There's even a 24-hour registered nurse hotline to answer your medical questions. All of this is yours for less than $3 a day. There are no deductibles or restrictions, regardless of your current health condition or citizenship status. When I was recently hospitalized, Qualified Health helped me save 96% off my hospital bill. 96%. This past year, I saved 70% of my lab work bills. I saved 65% of my prescriptions. Qualified Health is amazing. For more information or to become a member, call this number. Call in the next 10 minutes and receive one month free with a year's membership. There is also a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call Qualified Health right now. Operators are standing by to receive your call or log on to the web at qhealth.com. Get peace of mind for less than $3 a day. Qualified Health. Hi. Wow, that's good. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. See? Mm. Wow. Nice. I could devour that. Mm. Fun, fun. Mm. Holy cow, that's good. The Better Show. Taste it for yourself. This is Republic of Doyle. Yes, you have issues with authority. I'm a private investigator. You got yourself a situation. To 99 on my KSBI. Nice little house. Don't forget to tune into our sister station, This TV, on Channel 52.2 and Cox 215 for great movies all day, every day. Miami Blues, starring Alec Baldwin, airs tonight at 7. Then at 9, you can catch Revenge with Kevin Costner. The complete lineup is on our website. Just go to KSBITV.com. Well, welcome back. You know, remember a few weeks ago, maybe even a couple of months ago, uh, Christina Fallon kind of made some headlines for wearing a headdress. Yeah, of with course. With one of her new songs. There is the picture of her. Yeah, the daughter of our governor, Mary Fallon, and it was basically kind of promoting her band, and it yeah. did. She got in a lot of hot water, and yeah. people protested her show in Norman. At the Norman uh, Music Arts Festival. Well, yeah. she's not alone now. There is another yeah. musician that has been pictured wearing a headdress, and it's on the new edition of L Magazine, and huh. it's Pharrell Williams. Interesting. Pharrell Williams, of course, I mean, big time right now with this big hit song, Happy. Because I'm happy. Because I'm happy. Well, people aren't happy with Pharrell Williams no, either. No, not so much. In fact, huh. he's already issued an apology. Really? For it, and it's not even out on newsstands yet, but huh. people have seen it, and he says, uh, basically, I respect and honor every kind of race, background, and culture. I am genuinely sorry, huh. is what he said. So, well, you know, like, okay, here's the deal. So, I don't think it was his decision probably to say, hey, on the cover of Elle magazine, I'm going to wear a headdress. I feel like Christina Fallon, that was her decision to yeah, do that. Yeah. For Elle Williams, it's, I mean, there are people who plan what you're going to wear, what you're going to do on magazine covers. It's not really your decision what you're going to look like. I will, he I don't have, know. He could have, like, put his foot down and said, no, I'm not going to do it. But generally, those consultants are making decisions and you, you kind of go along with it. But he's known for wearing wacky stuff on his head. I mean, yeah. his big giant hat was a big success and it sold a lot. And yeah, I don't know. I I would not put it past him. Everyone needs to remember that these people are trying to get publicity. Right. And that, whether good or bad, they're always trying to get publicity. I have no doubt that's probably what Christina Fallon was doing. Doing, trying to get her name out there, trying to get yeah. the band's name out there, and Pharrell Williams is probably doing the same thing. Yeah. Sometimes it backfires on you, sometimes it doesn't. So this what, what, time what it kind of have, backfired what a little bit. What should he have done that would have been less risque? Uh, I, don't, well, I don't think he really cares, to be honest with you, huh. and I don't think the backlash will be as big because he's not the governor's son, right. and he's not in the state of Oklahoma. You know, people look at Pharrell Williams a little bit different than Christina Fallon. Yeah. But I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, I don't put it past him that he actually planned this out. He probably just had no idea what happened with Christina Fallon. He probably doesn't you know, even know who no. the heck Christina Fallon is. No. I mean, let's be honest. And we're the only She's... ones who are comparing that because we're in the state yeah. of Oklahoma. But for him, it's probably a whole new black backlash that he never really even thought would come. Probably not. And I bet you it's not coming as hard as it did with Christina. No. In fact, I never heard of it until you brought it up yeah. today. Yeah. Well, it's just become news, and you know, we're yeah. now finally starting to see the actual cover of the Elle magazine. But I don't know. You know, it's one of those things. Everybody wants publicity. Everybody Everybody wants to be talked about. Everybody wants their pictures shared on yeah. Instagram and Twitter. And sometimes you got to be a little controversial to do it. 
It's just the world we live in now. I mean, we live in a world of like any Leibowitz, like those you know photographers who do crazy stuff on magazine covers. Yeah. So I don't know. But I like Pharrell, so I'm he's my boy. You know what I get out of this? We need to be more crazy. <laughs> we need to be we more do. controversial. Let's think about that tomorrow. All we got to right. do something controversial. I'm gonna okay? come wearing something crazy. <laughs> so by fr by Monday when we come in uh, after tomorrow's Friday show, yeah, we'll be either in trouble or we'll be getting raises. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I hope it's the second one, that's for sure. I, I like don't know. It. Who are we kidding? We're not controversial at all. No, well, I'm going to be here like in a suit. Well, senior pranks have gotten people in trouble. Were you ever part yeah. of a senior prank? No, I was a good kid. I, I wasn't either. I just, yeah, didn't really care. But this yeah. may be my favorite senior prank. Okay. It's from Santa Barbara, California. There's yeah. a high school there. The seniors hired a mariachi band what? to follow around the principal all day throughout the school, That's which awesome. is awesome. Take a look. I want a mariachi band following me around. That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be How so fun. cool? I literally followed the guy around all day. Usually principals are, you know, yeah. fine with this as long as it's not destroying the school. They understand senior pranks. Yeah. Everybody at the school got a kick out of it staffing kids, so hey, good for them. I don't know what a mariachi band cost, but that was well worth the money. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I, know, I wish I had cool. done something in high school now. That yeah. sounds fun. Well, most of the time you just destroy the high school. So I that know, was right? a much better way. I can't remember. It. I can't remember. They probably did something, but yeah. I don't remember. Usually there's like a car parked in the hallway when you get to school yeah, that morning. Something or, like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, TP everywhere. But no, the mariachi band. Mariachi That's way band. cooler. I like it. It's fantastic. <laughs> hey, by the way, tonight um, you can see Edgar Cruz in the California Guitar Trio at the UCO Jazz Lab. They're playing, playing at 8 o'clock. Um, it's part of the Oklahoma Guitar Concerts. It's closing this season with the California Guitar Trio. Uh, tonight again at 8 o'clock at the Jazz Lab. Yeah, they're great. Oh, fantastic. We've yeah. had Edgar Cruz on the show recently, so UCO Jazz Lab is one of my favorites. So if you get a yeah, chance, go awesome. check it out tonight. Yep. We have more coming up, by the way. More peach recipes with Oklahoma Natural Gas. Cherokee Ballard's here, and that's next on KSBI. Uh-oh. You're behind the wheel, and the sun is so bright, you're blinded by the light and can't see a thing. Your visor doesn't stop it, so you dare to drive right into the glare. Stop blinding sun and dangerous glare with Easy View XT, the amazing fast flip-down glare blocker that blocks sun glare in a split second. Just slide Easy View XT onto any visor, and that's it. It stays sure and secure, no tools or assembly required. With just a flip, you've got the sun and glare neutralizing protection you need at your fingertips. Traditional car sun visors block your view and impede your vision. Easy View XT is made of clear acrylic that you can see right through with a perfect tint to diffuse light and glare so you can keep the road ahead in clear view. Look, morning sun makes it impossible to see, but you always have a clear view with Easy View XT. With late afternoon glare, you can't see what's ahead, but with Easy View XT, you'll be amazed at what you'll see instead. It even reduces glare from oncoming headlights at night. I drive my kids from school every afternoon directly into the sun. But now, with Easy View XT, I can actually see and keep my family safe. I drive nearly 100 miles each day for work. And with Easy View XT, I never have to squint into the sun. With Easy View XT, I'm a lot more comfortable and confident behind the wheel. I won't even put my rig in gear without my Easy View XT in it. Stop squinting and gazing into the sun and glare. Get the Easy View XT glare blocker so you can actually see. And right now it's yours for just $10. Whether it's early morning sun, blinding afternoon light, or diffusing headlight glare at night, you'll use Easy View XT driving everywhere. And there's more. Order right now and we'll double the offer and send a second Easy View XT for the passenger side, and it's yours free. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two Easy View XT glare blockers, a $30 value for just $10. Here's how to order. To order, call 1 800 478 3181. That's 1 800 478 3181, or go to easyviewxt.com. Order now. Introducing the Kohler Touchless Toilet. Honey, check this out. What's up? The no-touch flush for your home. Whoa. Get yours today at the Home Depot. 
you could be the next contestant on Wildcard, KSBI's fast-paced, fun local game show. We're looking for people who aren't afraid to let their personality shine. Auditions will be held June 7th, June 21st, and July 12th. Five o'clock Wildcard. To sign up, go to KSBITV.com. Watch Wildcard weeknights at 6.30 and midnight only on my KSBI. Welcome back. We are back in the kitchen. We're with Cherokee Ballard of Oklahoma Hi. Natural Gas. <laughs> and we're here to make another peach dish, of course, for their big Yum. peach Hi. cooking recipe. Yes, we're about to wrap up the contest. Yes. Yes. I think next Monday is the last day to oh, enter. Wow. So if you haven't entered, you need to do so. Yeah, so, absolutely. Have you just gotten overwhelmed with amazing peach recipes? You would not believe some of wow. the recipes. Now, I, one of them came in and I was like, hmm, I'm going to have to try that. So I won't reveal what it is, okay. but yeah. I'll have to try it to see because it sounded kind of different. But yeah. that's what we were asking. Yeah. We want people to enter um, with different recipes because mm -hmm. you think of peaches, you think of cobbler and pie, which mm -hmm. those are delicious, but we wanted people to get a little creative and then yeah. more have they. Yeah, they really absolutely. have. So like we're excited. combining salmon and peaches like yes. you are today. Salmon, we uh, seared are searing this over a medium natural gas flame. And then once it gets finished, then we'll top it with a delicious um, peach, jalapeno, mango, red onion salsa. Wow, wow that sounds amazing. That and does you talk sound about amazing. smelling good. My yeah, kitchen right? smells fantastic. So, so that's wonderful. Wonderful. the salmon looks like it's got some spices. Is that like Cajun, a little blackened seasoning Just on there? Just a little salt and pepper and, and lemon squeezed okay. over. Oh, okay. So it's very healthy. You know, okay. salmon's healthy anyway. Yeah, but yeah. it's it very healthy. It doesn't have a whole lot of much on it, but it doesn't really need it because salmon is such a flavorful fish. And then yeah. you top it with this beautiful salsa, which we'll okay. go ahead and get this out. This is, I'm sure it is done. So, okay, so we've got the salsa and we've got cheese and everything. You need us to cut anything yeah, up for actually, you? Actually, would you mind chopping yeah. that uh, chev goat cheese a little bit for okay. me? I say us, but Abby's in front well, of us. She's, she's going to do it. She does a great job. I'm the woman in the kitchen. She does a great job. Okay. So, so what, yeah, just pull it. There you go. Okay. That's perfect. And just kind of chop it up. Chop it up in little. Okay. You can actually just kind of crumble it, and it's probably okay. pretty warm from room yeah. temperature okay. anyway. Okay. So basically, what we're going to do is after. Um, I'm doing two dishes today, just because I felt like. Oh, you're going to do two for us? Oh, wow. Yeah, I just felt like that now. was a good idea. I was going to say, where do the beets come in? The beets come in right now. <laughs> That's not shopping. I, I know. Tell you that. That's okay. Well, can can okay. she just smear it on something? She could, actually. <laughs> you could smear it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to saute <laughs> these peaches, kind of make them warm. Cherokee sets me up to fail. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> well, now you're going to have to go. Like dig out from under your finger. I know, right? You got cheese everywhere. I'm well, so sorry. Right. And you guys are having to learn these recipes. I mean, you get them in, and then you have to cook them to see if they're good or prize worthy, exactly. right? So you're not really yeah. sure how they're going to turn well, out. Well, you never know. Yeah. You never know. But we, we, like I said, we've received some really delicious recipes today. I don't, I don't know that this came anywhere from maybe just out of my head, but yeah, uh, we roasted some beets. Okay. okay. And so that's now we're sauteing a few of the peaches to go with it, and it's kind of a, a beet salad. Mm -hmm. And the beets will can be cooled down after you put them in the oven for about an hour. Okay. And that's what this dish is right here. So we've sauteed the peaches just a little bit All right. until they get just a little nice and a little golden brown, just a little bit of warmth to them. So this is from the mind of Cherokee Ballard. It huh? is. Oh and I'm wow! A huge beet fan. So and they're so delicious and so good for you. So basically, you just pour the peaches over the beets. Okay. Okay. And then you'll crumble a little bit of that cheese, which is obviously not crumbable. Okay, crumbable. here we go. Yeah, that's not even Wait a good a word. Wait a second. There we go. Do yeah. you put it on top of the peaches? You can put it on top of the peaches and mix it in with. No, that's perfect. How about that, Drew? Perfect. <laughs> that looks so fancy. It looks so fancy. Wait, I got an idea. I'll and just get just... a little cheese on my fork and then go there for it. There you go. And then dribble a little bit of truffle oil. If, if you truffle oil. Whoa, because it really mixes, mixes delicious, deliciously with the beets. Perfect. So, and you just if you want to have a little bite of that, you, you can think we're stir truffle it up oil or anything worthy? Is okay. You okay. are truffle oil worthy. <laughs> Try saying that ten I'm times truffle oil in a row. Worthy. Yeah. A Do you like here. beets? I love beets, okay. but I just messed up the plate. That's okay, no problem. <laughs> have at it. Okay. Have at it. We can't even eat right today. Mm, so that is the kind of day we're having. Beets are oh, supposed great. to be a little bit crispy. Yeah. Uh -huh. I was gonna chop that up for Let you. Let me get a beet in there. Bite. There you go. I don't know if I've really tried a beet, really. Have you really? not tried beet? I don't everywhere. know. I, 
I can't recall ever having a beet before. Oh my gosh, they're right. so good for you. Just eat that whole thing. It won't <laughs> hurt you. My mouth isn't that big. He's like, it won't hurt me. I ate the whole thing. But, and I'm telling you, mm -hmm. these are the most delicious. So, I've so, never had one. I have to try well, one. Piece. That is good. Now you have. That I'm is very of, good. Yeah. So, uh -huh. this along with the beautiful salmon. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look as pretty as the salmon, but it's okay. <laughs> I blame Abby. It's okay. You can blame me. I messed it up. Hey, no, you didn't mess anything up. But, so, the beautiful salmon with the mm -hmm. peach, jalapeno, uh, mango salsa, and then beets with peaches mixed in. And so, once again, we're encouraging people to get creative. Mm -hmm. We did today, and we think it's, it's so much fun to cook and to use an Oklahoma-based peach product. So they've got yeah. about a week left up for grabs. You've got a range that you're giving we away. We are giving awesome away, price. not us, but Metro Appliance and more. They mm -hmm. graciously donated a natural gas range to us, and we're so thankful uh, that they were able to help us out with this. And so the winner of the contest will actually get a brand new freestanding all-natural gas range. I mean, wonderful. That's that's such great. a great yeah. price. Yeah. yeah. So you go to OklahomaNaturalGas.com, then what do they do once they get to the once website? Once they get there, they can go down to the left side. It says Calling All Cooks, and mm -hmm. then you fill out the application, send it in to us by midnight on June 9th, and or you can send in by the mail, but you better hurry if you're going to do it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So we're really excited about it, and yeah. we're, we hope to do this more often. Can yeah, you do it'll more be than great. one recipe? Can I send you a few of them? I've got a few ideas. And one per customer. One per customer. One per customer. Pick your best one. Okay. There you go. There you yeah. go. Thank you all so much. He makes fun of me, and he can't. I mean, <laughs> what is what is Drew Schroeder going to make that's a peach related recipe? I don't know. I the, think it would probably I would have. I'd be curious to see his yeah. recipe. All it, right. I'm sure there'd be some sort of alcohol in that pot while we're yeah, cooking that's it. Right. That's probably that's the awesome. way it would go. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Charity. Charity. Thank you all so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, coming up, the Fred Jones Junior Museum is here. Yeah, there is an oil and wood exhibit that they are featuring. We'll tell you all about it next. Why use you build it to remodel your home? Again, it's your dream, it's your money, it's your home. So you remodel it. YouBuildIt.com. Your home's in your hands. You build it. When I had my car wreck in 2008, I spent a lot of time dealing with the doctors, Dr. Bills, and the insurance company. After I contacted Lauder and Associates, they came out to my house the very next day. Lauder was great about keeping me informed on the details of my case. I would highly recommend Lauder & Associates for anybody who's been in a car wreck. Hello, I'm Mike Lauder. If you've been injured by no fault of your own, call us today. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay are everywhere. They're making another minimum payment. Great. Most of the money goes to us. One call to Consolidated Credit can get the debt suckers off your neck. And lower his rate. And consolidate his bills with one low payment. Consolidated Credit drives us batty. Call Consolidated Credit now. Because debt sucks. Call now. Call Consolidated Credit at 1-800-432-3043. Supermodel Cindy Crawford doesn't just walk the red carpet, she rocks it. At 47, she steals the show and wows the international press. Her secret is Meaningful Beauty, a complete skincare system that restores the look of youth. Since using Meaningful Beauty, my skin tone is evening out, and I notice that all the little lines have, have softened. Now, try Meaningful Beauty with Cindy's best deal ever. Normally $119, now just $39.95. But wait, call now and Cindy's Red Carpet Trio is free. You get two customer favorites, plus the amazing skin polishing brush to gently power away dry dead skin cells, revealing smoother, more radiant skin. I could tell a difference immediately. My skin felt like silk. It was beautiful. So call the number on your screen now and get all this, a $215 value for just $39.95. Results guaranteed or your money back. Call now. What can you potentially achieve with You Build It? How about saving over $55 a square foot or more than 40%? Results vary, but they did it. Can you? Find out at YouBuildIt.com. This KSBI weather forecast is brought to you by Energy Mart Construction. Welcome back. It's time for KSBI weather with our own meteorologist, Edward St. Pei. 
Thanks, Abby and Drew. Forecast brought to you by Energy Mart Construction. Well, let's take a look. Right now, stationary front across the area. We're expecting generally a cloudy night with low temperatures dropping to about 74. Southerly winds 10 to 15. A very slight chance for a few stray showers tonight, but partly sunny skies and 91 for tomorrow. As we look at Saturday, sunny skies, temperature near 87. Sunday and Monday, clouds increase. A slight chance for showers, mostly sunny on Tuesday. Edward St. Pay reporting. Energy Mart Construction thinks smart when it comes to roofing, windows, siding doors, and much more. We're committed to remodeling and serving you with quality and value. Our energy saving products meet tax credit and will improve energy efficiency throughout your home. Call Energy Mart Construction today and mention you saw this ad to receive 10% off an exceptional remodeling experience. We treat our customers like family. Think smart. Call Energy Mart. 787-6333. This KSBI weather forecast has been brought to you by Energy Mart Construction. Well, there's a wonderful exhibit at the Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art, and here to tell us more about it is art history professor Susan Havens Caldwell. Welcome to the show, Susan. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. Absolutely. So, tell us all about this exhibit. Well, the exhibit is as um, uh, called Oil and Wood mm -hmm. and Oklahoma Moderns. Uh, George Bogart and James Hinkle. Both of those uh, people were. On the faculty at OU, and I'm an art historian. I just uh, retired last year, but I, they were colleagues of mine. Uh, Jim Hinkle is still with us. George died, unfortunately, in 2005. Um, George is a painter, and his paintings are uh, abstract, but usually based on some sort of source. They're very, very colorful. Many of them are quite large. Mm -hmm. And Jim Hinkle uh, has done sculpture. But he has de all, he's a product designer, and he's designed beautiful, beautiful furniture mm -hmm. out of uh, native and exotic woods like African paduk and, um, and uh, zebra wood, and tremendously well-crafted. And we thought it would be nice to put something sculptural, like his sculptural furniture, with the paintings. It's a lovely exhibit. Wow. That's yeah, great. we were so just looking at some photos of yeah. it. It looks beautiful. And so you really get a taste of a little bit of That's what I love about the museum. It's not just paintings. You kind of get a chance to see a lot of different things. Oh, there's a lot of different kinds of art. Yeah. But we, I don't think, though James Hinkle has shown in faculty shows before, I don't think they've ever had a large exhibition of his works there together. And it's just quite marvelous. Yeah, I, I invite people to come. I'm speaking tomorrow night um, on June 6th at 7 o'clock. I'm giving a lecture. I'm the curator of the collection. And uh, then afterwards is a public opening at 8 o'clock. So everybody's invited to come and see this wonderful show. Yeah. Well, I'm just like fascinated by art in the form of furniture, really. I mean, it's like it looks like just uh, amazing yeah. to have on display. Well, you know, as, Jay, as Jim Hinkle said, and he's a nice friend, I've had good conversations with him about it, he said that product design is really close to modern sculpture, and he's taught both. But he said the, the, the problem solving in doing something like, um, you know, a chair or like a rocking chair, the balance, the working out, for example, the ergonomics, how it's going to be used, where something's going to be placed, and how the, the back works with the chair, that these are all really sculptural kinds of problems. So mm -hmm. there's a sculpture of his in front of the entrance to the School of Art. Uh, so he's done metal sculpture and he's done wooden sculpture. But this furniture is what he's really known for. He's had a lot of people who've commissioned museums. Maybe Gerrer has some of this furniture for Wow. Mm, wow. Yeah. yeah. I know. you got to be careful not to let people sit on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I have sat on them. But well, I've you're allowed told... to sit on the art. You are because you're the well, curator. Well, in his house. Oh. Uh, but, but, you know, the, the people in the museum said, now don't go sitting in this rocking chair. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a pedestal. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> Look over the ropes, people. Come on. There you go. How long is the exhibit going on? It starts uh, tomorrow, June 6th, and it goes to September 14th. Okay. So if people can't come to the opening and hear my talk, where I'll talk <laughs> about these artists, uh, they can certainly come uh, by September 14th, surely. And it's always lovely to come to the Fred Jones anyway. I don't know if you've been in the building, but it is really a beautiful, beautiful space. It is. Yeah, and for absolutely. people who don't know where it is or how they can get more info, where can they go? 
uh, www.ou.edu slash, I think, FJJMA for Fred Jones Jr. Museum of Art. Wow, you're okay, good. Perfect. There you <laughs> go. I think I got it right. <laughs> yeah. I'm not absolutely. very good at websites. That's all right. I think you yeah, got it right. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Well, I appreciate being invited. And that yeah, book is going to be featured there, I'm, I'm guessing, right? The one that you have? So if you yeah, want, you can go I've and buy it there. It. So okay. I'm giving the talk, and I'm a curator, and I've written this catalog. We had, um, it, it's a lovely catalog. Karen Gilman designed it. Uh, quite a few people yeah. have been worked on, working on this show very hard. You guys do great Wonderful. things there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you very thank much. Thank you yeah. for coming in. Thank we appreciate you. it. Well, coming up here next, we're going to find out how you can be a contestant on Wild Card. Yeah, and meet our own Ed Murray. It's next on KSBI. If you want to shed the fat and sculpt your body to get that slim, sexy look of your dreams, then you need to stop working out. Say what? And start rocking out with Rockin' Body, the fun new body makeover system that was created by fitness expert and insanity creator Sean T. Rockin' Body combines dance and fitness in a fun new way so you can achieve insane weight loss. I lost 30 pounds dancing. Now you can tone and tighten your abs, shrink and shape your hips and thighs, and lift and firm your booty, all while you're just dancing. I've lost 33 pounds. I feel sexy. And now, for a limited time, the complete $80 Rock and Body system is 75% off. That's right, Rock and Body is only $19.95. We'll even upgrade you to express shipping free. Get the complete Rock and Body system for only $19.95. Call 1-800-891-9746 or order online at rockandbody.com. 1-800-891-9746. Call now. Roseanne probably presents her greatest bits of the 80s and 90s. Well, golly, gee, Bonnie Mae. You could expect to pay thousands for comedy of this caliber with characters like Dan, <laughs> the kids, awesome. and the queen herself. Oh, sure. But it's all free on Roseanne. Weekdays at noon on my KSBI. You wake up in the morning. More like get woken up. Snooze alarm. Snooze. Snooze alarm. All right, let us be perfectly clear here. We hate mornings. Hate them. So when we crawl out of bed in the morning. We're doing it for you. For you. It's because you need to know what's going on. Check the web. Read the papers. What's happening with the weather? Twitter. Facebook. You don't have time for this. You're still half asleep. And need to get moving. Just turn on the Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz. Weekdays at 5.30 a.m. on KSBI 52. You can catch Wild Card tonight at 6.30 p.m. And then again at midnight, the game combines trivia all with the luck of a card game. And we have open auditions coming up this Saturday at 10 a.m. to sign up and play. Just email us at wildcard at ksbitv.com. Well, oh, we have had an action-packed show today. It's been awesome. Lots of cooking, lots of eating. Ready yeah. for a nap. A lot of good eats. So yeah. coming up here tomorrow, we're going to have a great show to kick off the weekend. Yeah. We'll have a performer from ACM at UCO. Airline Road will be here. Whole Foods will also be here in the, cook it, uh, in the kitchen. Uh, Jillian Cook has high-energy snacks for the summertime. Extreme animals, we love when they come in because they bring all kinds of exotic animals for us to play with. And movie reviews with our friend Jason Black. He's going to review the new Tom Cruise. Cruise movie, Ooh. Edge of Tomorrow, and the other one that's coming out, The Fault in Our Stars. Both of them get a I lot know. of good press. I want to, I want to read The uh, Fault in Our Stars yeah. book before I watch the movie because I've heard it's awesome. I just want to go see Tom Cruise run around in a robot suit. Okay. <laughs> Drew wants to go see Tom Cruise. All right. It's, it's All right. summertime. One yeah. of them is for thinking and one of them is just for shoot em up. There you go. I know. Okay. There is always, like, in the summertime, isn't there always, like, an action movie with, like, a robot suit involved or a yeah. Tom Cruise movie? This year, they're combined. Yeah, they are combined. Yeah. Sometimes, a lot of times, they're combined, I know, actually. Right? That's just a lot true. of times, people don't go see the Tom Cruise movie. But yeah. I've heard great things. But we'll see what yeah. Jason Black thinks because we'll he's he the guy I trust. Yeah. I I really do. He's well, coming up, we're going to leave you with one more performance from our Rodeo Opry. Here is one of our good friends, Owen Pickard and Kelsey Wolf.
just a couple kids paying dues and making plans. Go away. Ready for the long road, the long haul. Even my queen is scared to crawl. Learning to love. Sometimes it might look like a one way or a dead end. But there's no way we have been learning to love. Young kids in a picture frame when they became tied together back in 1940. Now I'm proud to call them 